welcome to your seventh lesson on hexadecimal to DNA renumber convention. So just a small recap. In the previous lesson we have studied about the notion of hexadecimal. It uses a base 16, that is 16 different values ranging for DNA value 0 up till 15 and their equivalent hexadecimal representation is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and as from denary 10 this is represented as alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F. In this session you will learn to convert hexadecimal integers to denary and remember for the CIE syllabus you need to know for a maximum of four hexadecimal digits to do the maximum only four digits will be provided so let's move on to the first example let's say you want to convert AF base 16 which is our hexadecimal representation so if you see here A and F they are hexadecimal digits and this needs to be converted to denary so the first step is to split this given hexadecimal value into a single digit and you put this in a table so you're going to have A and then F so you will see I have created a table of three columns you have digits A and then F the second step of this splitting each digit in the table you will need to remember your decimal or denary to hexadecimal mapping of integers so in this case, the second step, you convert each digit that you have here, hexadecimal digit, into its denary equivalent. So let's start with F. So F is a hexadecimal representation, so you just look through your table, F is here. F has a decimal value of 15. So you look for this, and then you write 15 here. Next is A. You find A on your table. The decimal representation of that is 10. Now, let's move to the second step. After converting each digit to its denary equivalent, you're going to write base 16 place value. Place value will always start with 0. So in this case, this will be 16 power 0. This one will be 16 power 1. If you have another digit here, you're going to have another column on the left side of A. In this case, it will be 16 to the power of 2. So after writing the base 16 value, we move to the next step, which is multiply the decimal equivalent value with its place value. So you just need to do a multiplication of these two rows. In this case, you multiply 15 by 16 power 0 you're going to get 15 and 10 times 16 to the power of 1 you're going to get 160 now the next step after multiplying these values you just sum up the last row shown here the multiplicative value so in this case we're going to have 160 plus 15 this will be equal to 175. Now let's say AF16 in this case is represented in denary as 175. Let's move on to the second example. Let's say for the second example you got one free C hexadecimal digits that you need to convert to denary. In this case, the so first step, we split each digit in the table, so we're going to have 1, 3, and then C. Next, we map each digit into its denary equivalent, so we just search for C. C in this case will be 12. 3 in this case will be 3. 1 in this case will be 1. After this, we write the base 16 place value. 
based on their position. Remember we have three digits here, you can have up till four. In this case, the last place value will be 16 to the power of three. So for C we'll have 16 to the power of zero, for three we'll have 16 to the power of one, and for one you'll have it as 16 to the power of two. Next you need to multiply decimal equivalent value with their place value. So 12 times 16 to the power of 0 will be 12, 3 times 16 that will be 48, and 1 times 16 is squared that is going to give it 256. Next, the next step is to sum up the last row. So we just go ahead and sum it up. So the final value that you're going to have is 316. In this case, 13C as a hexadecimal number to 10 is 316. 